Chocolate is one of my absolute weaknesses, and today we're going to do death by chocolate. So we're going to use the most important thing about, uh, I feel about desserts, about everything in cooking, but especially desserts, is using absolutely best ingredients that you can find. And this dessert is very simple, and that's why the ingredients are so important. We're going to use um, Valrona chocolate, which is one of my favorites from France. Seven ounces of that. It's going to go on top of a double boiler, and then um, in most places you're going to find some small dairy that produces extremely great dairy products. In Vancouver it's Avalon Dairy, so we're using half a cup of heavy cream added to the chocolate and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Now use unsalted because you can control the flavoring a lot better if you use unsalted and usually they use fresher cream to make unsalted butter. The salt it actually acts as um, a preservative. We're going to put this on top of the double boiler. The reason why you want to use a double boiler is that chocolate scorches really easily and so if you want to you know do anything else and not have to pay attention to it this is the foolproof way. So we're going to let the chocolate melt with the cream and the butter and you want to give it a nice whisk not add any air into it but just bring the components together. Once the chocolate has melted in the cream and butter, we're just going to remove it from the heat. And you'll notice the chocolate that we're using is very high cocoa content. It's, you want to look for something that's minimum 65%. What we're using today is actually 70%. So you'll notice that it's separated a little bit, but this is going to come back together as soon as we add the other ingredients. And we want this to cool for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to separate some eggs and we're using two eggs in this and you want to make sure you use free range eggs. Again, going back to the great quality ingredients. And so we're just going to separate them. We're just using the egg yolks here. And when you're separating eggs, always make sure that you just do have two containers because if you ruin one, you don't want to end up with lots of egg whites that have yolks in it because you can save that and make some fantastic pavlova or little meringues to go on the side. One of my favorite things is to have multiple desserts on the plate. So once that's cooled, we're going to add the, the dusted icing sugar into this. Just sprinkle it in. And it's going to sweeten it a little bit, but it's also Icing sugar has a little bit of uh, starch in it, so that will actually help thicken the mixture. So we're just whisk this all together. And then to this, we're going to add two free range eggs. It's important that the mixture is cool, otherwise, it will seize up right away. You see, the chocolate mixture was a bit loose before because the cocoa content in the chocolate is so high that you've got a lot of. Um, very safe fat in this. And then we're going to add some Cointreau and we're adding three tablespoons of Cointreau. Now I've actually half the recipe. This makes enough for about eight servings. In my cookbook um, you're making a full size death by chocolate which gives you 16 servings and that can be uh, frozen easily if you don't go, go through um, the whole dessert that night. Now we're just going to blend this and then you can pour it right into your loaf pan. Do the pan. Make sure you get all of it. Mm. Save any of it for the dog. It's not good for dogs anyway. And then you're going to Smooth the top off a little bit. Give it a little tap to get rid of the air bubbles. And then we're going to put this in the refrigerator for a minimum of four hours. But best if you can leave it overnight. Now that it's set, we're just going to remove it from the fridge and do our presentation. Now, people often forget about presentation. They've 
gone to all the trouble of making something fantastic and then they throw it on the plate and it's so easy to make something look fantastic so with the parchment paper we just need to loosen the ends and it's very solid you can just take it out of the pan pull back the parchment from the side and this is not a presentation plate. This is just for actually serving. So we're gonna, this is a dessert you usually would do for a sit down dinner. And so you're gonna do the presentation in the kitchen. And we're gonna dust the top with a little bit of cocoa. And it doesn't matter if it gets on the sides because again, this isn't our final presentation. And then I'm gonna mark the top with a knife and you can decide how generous you're going to be with the servings. This, you can say six to eight servings out of this. So then we're going to uh, actually do the presentation on a square plate. White is my preference always because it just shows the food off so much better. So at Bishop's Restaurant, what they used to do is take the plate and put it in a cardboard box and then actually splatter the raspberry coulis on. Let me see how careful I can be with actually doing this without the, without the box. This is the death part. So then, ideally with a hot knife, you want to cut through the death. Place this on your plate. And then you can play around with this. You can add herbs to this. You can add a few raspberries. If you want, you can add a little bit of icing sugar, but you don't want to go too, too overboard because the simplicity is what makes it so great. And then, this is the best part. You actually get to chopping it. Mmm. Now, that's chocolate. <laughs> 